The box and the plane are rendered in Prisma 3D. View in full screen. Watch till end. So I downloaded this green screen footage with tracking markers from YouTube. I tracked the camera in a VU app. I created a tracking plane in the level of ground. I attached a shape layer to the tracking plane. Details in my camera tracking tutorial. Create a camera layer. Change the view from perspective to top left or front, you can see the camera. You can zoom in or out too. You can see the shape layer, we will consider it as ground. But you can't get any information about the camera location or rotation from the camera layer. But there's a way. First we have to learn about the axes and camera orientation in AVU. The three main axes are represented by three primary color in both AVU and Prisma 3D. X is red, Y is green, Z is blue. You can see X axis is facing this way in front camera view. But it gets flipped when we view the footage. Also you can see our ground is above when it should be below. You can see this in the front view also. That means the Y axis is also flipped. One more thing. The camera is actually facing this way in top and left view. Okay that was too much. Remember in a VU, X axis is flipped for the camera. Y axis is always flipped. Z axis is okay. Now let's extract the data. Take an empty layer. Scale it to footage length. Turn it 3D. Put a keyframe in the beginning, then manually move with the camera on top view to get the X and Z value. The more frame you track the more accurate it will be. Then track the front view for Y value. You can also track the front view for X, Y value and top or left view for Z value. Now it's tracked. You can see the values. Flip X and Y value. Both AVU and Prisma has 30 FPS timeline, it's easy to import values. Write down the values on a paper as a function of time or frames. I have converted them to decimal because they were too large for Prisma. Open Prisma, take a camera. Clear the location rotation values. Put the values from paper and keyframe them. We've got the camera motion. But where is the ground? Click on the shape layer and go to position values. Flip the Y value and convert to decimal. Take a plane in Prisma and put the position values. Scale it up.
Now render and composite anything. This method won't work with camera rotation, but there must be some way. Till then.